Hi, everyone. Top Capable Channel here and I want to show you how to reset iPhone when there's iPhone unavailable message on the lock screen. The reset is basically helpful if you lost your passcode and fail to unlock your iPhone. The iPhone should show iPhone unavailable or security lockout on its lock screen due to the fact that you forgot the passcode and tried the wrong ones more than 5 times in a row. To get this unavailable error erased, we're gonna have to reset the iPhone. So how to reset unavailable iPhone? It's meaning that the phone will be like it was when you took it out of the box for the first time. And so this will fully erase the unavailable iPhone and the passcode you've tried many times but all are failed attempts. Alright, we're gonna show you three ways to reset your phone when it's unavailable. Now before you erase everything, I hope you guys keep a backup on either iTunes, Finder or iCloud, since after the reset, you could use the backup to restore your data back into the device. Of course, you can't do a backup now because your iPhone appears to be locked with iPhone unavailable or security lockout. Okay, firstly, if your iPhone has been updated to iOS 15.2 or higher, you could factory reset it without computer using erase iPhone option. There will be the erase iPhone option at the bottom right of the locked screen saying iPhone unavailable, security lockout try again in 15 minutes after the wrong passcode attempts. So in order to do this properly, what you'll need is a couple of things. You'll need an active internet connection, and you'll also need the Apple ID password to disable the iCloud activation lock. So let's go ahead to reset iPhone and its locked passcode. On the unavailable screen, just tap erase iPhone option. Then on the erase all content and settings screen, you're allowed to reset the phone right now, or just try unlocking the phone again if you remember your login passcode. Obviously, you just forgot the passcode and would like to reset the device. So tap erase iPhone option again to verify. Now, you're required to log out of the iPhone. So just input your Apple ID password, and your iPhone will erase itself and fully reset to factory settings. We're now waiting for the progress bar indicating the restoring process to come to an end. When iPhone comes back up, it won't be unavailable anymore. Everything including the passcode has been wiped off. So you'll get this screen where it's saying hello. Just swipe and set up to select your language and whatever you want. If you need to set a new passcode, you'll even have to put in your passcode again as the passcode and all of the fingerprint or face information is gone during resetting. If you even need to restore your backup to get back your data that was wiped off, you have option to do that. Simply choose Restore from iCloud Backup or Restore from Mac or PC in the Apps and Data screen, and all data will be back. So that's pretty all there is to it erase, iPhone unavailable, from the lock screen. Alright, what if your iPhone unavailable screen has no erase iPhone option? How to reset the locked iPhone that is just saying iPhone unavailable or security lockout? Don't worry for that. The second route is to use recovery mode which will help you erase and reset the device. All right, we're gonna connect the unavailable to computer. Do this using the original Apple Lightning cable. Then we're gonna enter recovery mode. There are different steps for an iPhone booting into recovery mode. I will also leave a link in the description below. So, guys, for iPhone 8 or later, press and release volume up button. Press and release volume down button. Then press and hold the side button until you see the recovery mode screen where reads a charging cable and a computer. When you're ready, we're gonna open iTunes on a PC or an older Mac. If you guy is using a Mac with macOS Catalina or later, launch Finder. As you can see, iTunes or Finder pops up a dialog and says there's a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. In order to bypass the iPhone unavailable screen, we need to reset it factory default to erase the passcode. So, here, what we're gonna do is choose Restore, then click Restore and Update to execute the resetting task. Your computer will now restore iPhone to factory setting and erase all data and settings including the locked passcode. Just wait for some time for the reset to complete. Once done, the iPhone restarts and it's restored to the state just as you bought it and took it out of the box for the first time. All done. No iPhone unavailable message or security lockout screen after the reset. Go through the setup process to restore from a backup or start it as a new iPhone. If iTunes didn't do a perfect job for you, consider try the third-party iPhone unlocker software to reset the iPhone without iTunes and without passcode.
It can unlock iOS device that becomes unavailable, security lockout and disabled, and remove the forgotten passcode efficiently. With iPhone entering recovery mode, it should quickly factory reset the device and erase the lock screen. Give AppGeeker's iPhone Unlocker a try if you're interested in it. Alright, folks, the third route by which to reset the locked iPhone is to use Find My iPhone feature. But before we're gonna begin, you guys should remind that if the Find My iPhone feature has been toggled on that unavailable iPhone. If it doesn't, you can't get this to work. And make sure the phone is connected to internet, because this erases iPhone remotely. Okay, let's go to iCloud.com slash find on any browser of your choice on the computer, then sign in with your Apple ID and password that you used on the unavailable iPhone. Wait for a while and iCloud loads your device. When you see a map, click all devices at the top. From the list, we're gonna choose the locked iPhone to reset, then click on Erase iPhone. A little dialog pops up and states are you sure you want to erase this iPhone and erase all content and settings. We hit erase and the process should begin. You can see iPhone display an Apple logo and progress bar on its screen, and this means that it's resetting and removing the unavailable problem. If you have another iOS device, either an iPad or an iPhone is okay, you can open Find My App to erase the device. Now, to do this, sign in with the same Apple ID on that iDevice which is used on that unavailable iPhone. You can check this in Settings app, then tap your name at the top, then you could see which account you're using. If it's not the same as that on the locked phone, scroll down and tap Sign Out. The resign in with the appropriate Apple details. Well, mine is the same on both devices. So here, I skip to do this. Go ahead and tap Find My App on the home screen. When it's open, tap devices at the bottom and your unavailable iPhone should display. Tap on it, scroll down and tap erase this device. When asked if you're sure to erase iPhone, tap continue and the reset begins. As you can see the unavailable iPhone, it's resetting. When it's done, you should gain access it without passcode as anything has been deleted completely as part of the restoring process. Okay, set up the phone and restore your data from an available backup. Oh yeah, your iPhone is ready now. It's reset with the unavailable lock screen erased. Hope this video is helpful for you if you've forgotten the passcode and got the iPhone unavailable or security lockout error. Please give a like, subscribe use and share this video with your friends. If you still have question about the reset, let us know in the comment section below. I'll be back soon guys. Bye bye.